we're working with young people who have got more ideas than we have. And we're going to be slowly building a huge structure. Teaching how to do a group installation. Bringing those ideas together, wrapping them in cling film, quite literally, and we'll see what happens. This is the first time that we've been able to get all three Saturday clubs together so that they can work collaboratively and bring the different skills that they've learned from each of their Saturday clubs. It's pretty good and it's, it's a bit hard, it's complicated. It's helping me to understand like, how you could use different materials to make different pieces of art. There's some really interesting models happening, which is quite yeah. good. So we're trying to engage them in the idea of collaborating and exploring new materials together and thinking about things in slightly different ways. Fun actually, finding out about new artists and how they do their work and then ourselves trying to do something different. Normally I just draw and paint, especially in school, but this I bring it on a new level. We want them to make work which asks questions so that when people look at it they, they've got more questions than answers. I never thought that I'd be spending my Saturdays working and trying to like construct a building or architecture piece. Making something is part of it. The other part is telling stories about the thing you've made. Why did you make it? What does it mean? How do people respond to it? The children have all come together, so they've all learned from each other. That's a, that's a key thing. I'm looking forward to seeing everyone else's work and actually seeing how everyone else took a different approach to it. It's also really good for kind of collaboration, for people working together. They've formed some really efficient little working groups. And there seems to be a lot of fun going on, there's a lot of interplay, and it's really lovely to hear their comments about each other and about what they've created. Two people in the group that I haven't like spoken to before were just like bonded over like art. This gives them a great opportunity to, to look at and try some new things. I was actually excited because as my future career I do want to be an architect so I was like excited for creating like something big. If you have a short space of time to make something it will be interesting. It may be a disaster and it may be brilliant but it will be really interesting because you can't question it, you can't redo it, you can't take it down and start again. It's been fun all the way through. I mean we had people who wouldn't stop. People no. were like, no I want to carry on, I want to carry on. A lot of the young people don't have many opportunities outside of their schools. It's really important that they've got somewhere else to explore their creativity and also give them something to do on a Saturday that's free as well. Keep funding the arts because they're the future. Because arts is a 60 billion pound industry. So this is another industrial enterprise really because these are the future designers and the future artists of tomorrow.